wonder how countries keep an eye on their airspace, especially with all the stealth fighters and advanced threats out there these days. Well, today we're diving deep into the world of airborne early warning systems, specifically what Pakistan is doing to uh, really level up its game in this area. You ever heard of AEW? Yeah, airborne early warning. Airborne early warning, right? Yeah. It's like having a... A really powerful flying radar station. Yeah, like a, a hawk's eye view of a massive area. Exactly. Spotting trouble way before it gets close. Right. And we've got some uh, some pretty fascinating intel here. Oh, yeah. Articles, reports, all highlighting Pakistan's ambitious project to develop their own AEW system. So before we get into Pakistan's specific project, can you give us a quick breakdown of what AEW is and why it's such a game changer? Sure. So imagine you're trying to um, spot a drone or something hiding in a canyon. Okay. And you're standing on a mountaintop with like some really good binoculars. Okay. Your view is going to be pretty limited, right? But if you're in a helicopter soaring above that canyon, you've got a much wider view. Makes sense. That's basically the difference between ground-based radar and AEW. AEW systems, they're like those helicopters, giving you a much broader, clearer picture of the airspace, especially helpful in places with vast coastlines or tricky terrain. Okay, so AEW is giving you that hawk's eye view. Yeah. But it sounds like a pretty massive undertaking, right? Mm -hmm. What's driving Pakistan to invest so heavily in developing their own system? Well, it's a combination of things, really. Okay. First, they're thinking about future threats. Technology, it changes so fast, right? Well, absolutely, yeah. Staying ahead of the curve, in defense, that's crucial. Pakistan's current AYCS, they're good. But against future threats, who knows? Right, so they're future-proofing. Exactly. That makes sense. But uh, these systems are incredibly expensive, aren't they? They can be, yeah. And that brings us to the second motivation. Right. Reducing reliance on imports. Relying on another country for, mm -hmm. you know, really critical defense tech, it's risky. What if they decide not to sell to you anymore? Right. Or or even worse, use it as leverage. Oh, yeah. It's like having all your eggs in one basket. Exactly. So Pakistan wants to build their own, have more control over their defense. Right. That makes a lot of sense, especially in a, in a world that can be a little unpredictable these days. For sure. But they're not starting completely from scratch, are they? No, no, no. They're not building a whole new plane. That would be way too expensive. Right. They're focusing on developing their own radar and sensor package. Okay. To something they can integrate into existing aircraft. Clever, cost-effective approach. So like giving an existing plane a major brain upgrade. Exactly. Gotcha. So future threats, self-reliance, but there's got to be more to this, right? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. The third motivation, yeah. tied to Pakistan's recent acquisition of some pretty advanced fighter jets. Really? We're talking fourth, 4.5th, even fifth generation aircraft. Wow. To really use those jets effectively, you need a powerful AEW system to guide them, see the whole battlefield, coordinate their actions. So what's a good analogy for that? It's like... Um... It's like a star quarterback, but without a strong offensive line. Uh-huh. What good is he? Right. So the AEW, that's the offensive line for the fighter jets. Yeah, giving them the support they need to be truly effective. Precisely. This is huge for Pakistan's defense industry. But what about, uh, what kind of ripples could this create internationally? It's definitely something to keep an eye on. It could shift the balance of power in the region, or maybe even spark some kind of technological arms race, you know? Oh, yeah. Neighboring countries might feel the pressure to keep up. Yeah, I could see that. It's a fascinating look at how defense technology is evolving. So what does it all mean? Pakistan's getting serious about their defense, 